Hi everyone, welcome for today's number 19 of the yoga challenge. So we are almost there, just two more days to go. So yeah, as I mentioned, today is going to be mostly a gentle flow for gratitude. So it's for all level. We just want to have a deep stretch from head to toes. We really want to tune in with our breath. And yeah, we want a kind of a moving meditation. We want to move here with awareness, kind of a scanning everything what's happening into your body within the flow. If you have an injury, just be very mindful, even more on, onto this flow. And otherwise, just breathe and have fun and everything's going to be okay. Are you guys ready? So I meet you straight down, sitting on the mat into a comfortable cross-legged pose. So you can find here the two sit bones, maybe scooping the hips a little bit more. And once you find the two sit bones, you can finally relax the shoulders completely, relax the arm, and just rest the hands on your knees. Just sitting nice and tall. Imagine like you have a thread coming out of your crown, pulling you towards the ceiling. And let's tune in here with our breath, taking a long deep inhalation through the nose. And exhale out through the nose again. Take another deep breath. If you want to connect even more, you can even bring one hand to your chest, the other one to your stomach, just following the natural movement of your body as you breathe. Let's continue here. Take a deep breath in. And a long exhale out. Just take your time here to find your pace. Just breathing naturally, no need to force anything. And just being aware how the breath is linked to our emotion. When we are stressed, we tend to have very shallow breath. And when we are more relaxed, we have deeper breathing, right? So keep on breathing. Noticing your pace, just relaxing everything a little bit more, your jaw, your face muscle. Take a few more deep breaths. And then very gently bringing the two hands to the heart center. Let's think about what we are grateful for today. Are we grateful for a healthy body? of lovely friends and family around us, of a healthy mind, of the food that we have every day, the shelter above our head, anything that may cross your mind that you're grateful for today. Take a deep breath in through the nose, and as you exhale, slowly bow down your head. Namaste, everyone, and welcome for today's practice, day 19 of the Yoga Challenge. Let's start here by interlock the finger and let's roll the wrist here. Keeping the shoulder relaxed. Maybe you can hear some little crack. Yes, I can hear. And then let's extend the two arms in front of you. Open and close the fingers as fast as you can. Again. And exhale, release. Just pull in here the fingertips towards your body. Keep on the arms straight. And then from down good and let's switch pulling the finger up straighten the right arm and then down here giving you a nice stretch here to the forearm nice and then bringing the two hands here to the shoulder keeping the elbows really close to the rib cage and as you inhale let's roll the elbows up and exhale roll them back down good a few more times inhale up and exhale down Go the third time, inhale, and exhale. Now from backward, inhale, rolling the elbows up, exhale, down, inhale, up, for two, and inhale again, up, for three, and exhale, slowly release. Now bringing here the left hand to the right side of the head, inhale deeply. And as you exhale, very gentle here, pulling the head to the side. So not actually pulling so much, but just using the weight of your arm. Good. And let's switch, inhale, switching side. And as you exhale, very gently pulling the head to the side. 
foot. Now let's interlock the finger to the back of the head, elbow really close, and exhale, pulling the head down. So actually bringing the chin to the chest as much as you can. You can even keep a slight round of the spine. And inhale, come on up, bringing the two hands on the back, rolling the shoulder back, lift up the chin all the way up towards the ceiling, maybe dropping even the head down. Good. And inhale, back to the center, and let's move straight into tabletop here. You can unlock the legs, bringing the knees under the hips, two hands under the shoulder, co-cat, ready? Inhale, arch the back, look up, and exhale, round the spine. Good. Inhale to arch, looking up. And exhale, round. Just noticing everything that's happening into your spine. Inhale, arch. And exhale, round. Good. Few more times at your own pace. And exhale. Nice. Inhale, stay. Exhale, child pose already sitting here to the back of the heels and then dropping completely the forehead to the mat. Good. And as you inhale, let's move in here into table and then cobra rolling the shoulder back. Exhale to chai. So again, a moving meditation, just moving with your breath. Inhale, coming forward, rolling the shoulder back, open up the chest. Exhale to chai. Inhale, roll. So it doesn't matter how you look, it's mostly how you feel, just rolling and unrolling here the spine. Exhale, child, a few more times. Inhale, coming forward, open up the chest. Exhale, child, last one. Inhale. Good, stay here, open up the chest. And as you exhale, this time, tuck the back toes and press all the way back to a downward facing dog. So it's the first of today, so you can paddle in, paddle out. Just let go any tension that you may feel to the back of the leg and being really mindful to press here the chest closer to your leg so you can have the head in between the two arms. Keep on walking. You can maybe turn the heels side to side just to let go any tension here to the lower back. Good. And as you inhale, look in between the two hands, we're gonna hop into a malasana. So two feet here up on each edge of the mat with the toes pointing out, hands to the heart center, rolling the shoulder back and pressing the elbows into the knees. And you can just sway side to side. So we're walking into our hips now. Having here a gentle pull of the elbows into the knees. Keep on breathing, just moving there. Just moving meditation here, it's really mindful. So you can add any motion that feels good at any pose. Take another deep breath in. And as you exhale, hands on the mat, slowly straighten the two legs. You can bring again the two feet parallel, but still at the width of the mat. Inhale, halfway up. And exhale as you fold. You can keep a slight bend onto the knees and grab into the opposite elbow and completely sway side to side. So just mindful movement. Tilting from one side to the other one, just balancing here. Even maybe forward and backward. The key here is to completely release all the tension to your spine, to the shoulders, and into your neck. Good. Inhale, hands on the mat, halfway up, flat back again. Let's heel toe the feet to the middle of the mat. Actually, hip with distance so you can keep a few millimeters. Inhale again, looking forward. And exhale as you fall. Remember, you can always keep a slight bend on the knees, even if you have to stay the hands on your knees. Good. And as you inhale, let's roll the spine vertebra by vertebra. Let's go as slow as we can. And then reach both arms up. And exhale, hands to the heart center. Samastiti. Good. Let's come again to the top of the mat, which is actually one foot distance from the edge. And just releasing here the two hands by the side. Just checking here with our balancing pose, our standing pose, sorry. Whenever you close your eyes, can you find pure stillness? Maybe your weight is, sh is shifting from one leg to another one. Just take your time to slow down your pace. Just connect here with your grounding. Good. And as you inhale, open the eyes and reaching both arms up. And exhale, standing forward fold, Padahastasana. 
Inhale, halfway flat back. Exhale, bend the knees, hands to the mat. Right foot step back as far as you can, dropping the knee and the toes. Inhale, chest up. And exhale, melting the hips down, low lunge. So walking here into the right hip flexor, make sure to have the front knee right above the ankle. Inhale, reach up again. Exhale, twisting the chest to the left, open up the two arms by the side. So kind of an active twist here, so you're not using any weight of the hands, just open, opening them to the side. And as you inhale, leaning to the back leg, you can maybe rest the back hand on your leg. Exhale deeply. Inhale back to the center. And exhale, bringing the two hands on the mat. As you inhale, tuck the back toes, lift the back knee up. Take your time to find the balance. Here, be careful not to open up the hips, but square up the hips really parallel to the ground. And whenever you have the foundation, inhale, chest up, high press and lunge. Exhale to stay. Inhale, reach up again. Exhale, warrior two, dropping the back heel, open up the two arms by the side. So quick check of the leg, make sure the front Heel is right in the middle of the back foot, hands by the side, nice and strong, warrior two. Keep on breathing, just tune in here with your grounding and the fire here that you may feel into your quads. And inhale, star pose, you can straighten the two legs, turn the left toes to the side of the mat, reaching both arms up, and as you exhale, prasarita, slowly start to uh, lean forward. Inhale, let's start again. You can keep a slight bend on the knees. And exhale, continue to drop here the head. Good, so here you can play around if you want. You can bounce again. You can take a tripod stand, headstand if you want. Really up to you. You can just balance there. You can even play around. Inhale, coming slightly up. Exhale, going a little bit deeper. Good. And as we inhale, halfway up, flat back, keeping the hands on the mat. This time, bringing the right hand right underneath your gaze. And as you inhale, open up the left arm up, finding a twist. Keep on shifting the weight forward, all the weight onto the toes. And exhale, slowly release. Let's switch side. Left hand on the mat. Inhale, open up the right arm up. And exhale, release, turning the left toes to the top of the mat and walking yourself forward. And then exhale, press back downward, facing dog. Keep on walking on the spot, breathe deeply. And as you inhale, either step or hop to the top of the mat. Halfway up to find length. And exhale as you fold. Inhale, reach up, both arms up. And exhale, hands to the heart center. Let's go straight to the left. Inhale, up. Exhale, Padahastasana. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, bend the knees, hands to the mat. Left foot step back, low lunge, dropping the back knee and the back toes. Inhale, chest up. And as you exhale, melting the hips down. So tucking the belly button in, shoulders completely relaxed away from the ears. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twisting the chest to the right, so only open up the two hands by the side. Take another deep breath here. And inhale, gently leaning to the back leg. You can use the right hand on the leg. Open up the left arm up overhead. And inhale, reach up, both arms up. Exhale, two hands on the mat. As you inhale, let's tuck the back toes, lift the back knee up. Take your time just to notice here the foundation and your balance. And whenever you have it, inhale, chest up, high press and lunge. And exhale as you stay. So keeping the chest as vertical as you can. <laughs> inhale, stay. And exhale, warrior two, dropping the back heel, hands by your side, melting the hips down. So quick check, front, front heel is right in the middle of the back foot. Hands by the side, warrior two. Keep on breathing, just tune in here with the grounding. Keep on breathing, two hands strong by the side. And inhale, straight on the front leg. Let's turn the right toes inward, let me turn here. Finding another star pose, inhale, reach up. And exhale, start to uh, fall forward into wide leg in that stretch. Let's stay here, 90 degrees, so we have the chest facing here, the ground. Inhale, going a little bit more forward. 
And exhale, continue to dive down. This time, let's maybe grab onto the knees. Maybe if you can go a little bit deeper into the shin bone. Maybe all the way to the hips. Uh, sorry, <laughs> to the ankle. And as you exhale, bending the elbow, let's try to actually pull uh, the legs so we can bring the chest a little bit more down. Keep on shifting all the way to your toes. Good. Another deep breath here. And as you inhale, halfway up, flat back, bringing the two hands on the hips. Let's stay here, breathe deeply. This is option one. If you want to go slightly deeper, option two, you can extend the two arms up overhead, connecting here to your core, to the fire. Make sure here to tuck the belly button in for flat back. Take another deep breath. And exhale, release the hands on the mat, turning the right toes to the top of the mat. Let's walk the hands forward and then press back downward, facing the dog all the way back. You can paddle in, paddle out, add any motion that feels good. And as you inhale, either step or hop to the top of the mat, halfway up. Exhale, fold. And inhale, reach up, both arms up. Exhale, hands to the heart center, Samastiti, mountain pose. Let's tune in one more time with our breath. Just notice how do you feel. Notice here this energy flowing up and down. Good. And then let's release the two hands by the side. And on the next inhale, let's take a warrior one. So right leg step on the back of the mat with the foot maybe 45 degree. Make sure to turn the hips facing forward, the same direction as the shoulder. And then bending 90 degree to the front leg. So whatever you have, your steady and strong warrior one. Inhale, reaching both arms up, rolling the shoulder back. Make sure to equally press both feet down to the mat. And then let's interlock the fingers here on the back, straighten the arm, roll the shoulder blade to open up the chest. Inhale, open up the chest again. And exhale, humble warrior. Let's drop the chest inside of the leg as low as you can. And as the chest comes down, the two arms are actually pulling up. Keep on breathing. Good. And inhale, lift up the chest back to warrior one, reaching both arms up. Exhale, hands to the heart center, ready to move into warrior three, very slowly and mindfully. Inhale, start to shift the weight forward, up, rolling the shoulder back, and then slowly open up. So finding here a T-shape, make sure to look forward and not down. Maybe open up the two hands by the side, warrior three. Maybe hands to the heart center. If you want a, um, a harder option, even the two hands up overhead, Woo, tuning with your balance. Good, and exhale back to warrior one, stepping back. Let's straighten into this front leg. Maybe you can close up a little bit more the hips, uh, sorry, the legs, inhale, reach up. And exhale, pyramid pose. Let's start folding forward. So make sure to keep the two legs straight. Inhale, going a little bit further. And exhale as you relax the hand, maybe on the knee, maybe on your shin, maybe all the way down to the mat. <sighs> So make sure to keep both legs straight. If you have hyper extended, uh, extended knees, you can keep a slight bend into the front knee. <sighs> keep on breathing. Option one, you stay here on pyramid. Option two, the right hand comes to the left side of the foot. And as you inhale, open up the left arm up, finding a twist for a revolve trikonasana. So it's both a deep stretch and a balancing pose on this one. Keep on breathing. And exhale, slowly release. Two hands on the mat, you can bend the front knee and step back downward, facing dog. All the way back, you can paddle in, paddle out, let go any tension. And as you inhale, either step or hop, top of the mat, halfway up. Exhale, fall. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, hands to the heart center, ready for the left. You can release the two hands. And as you inhale, warrior one, left leg travel all the way back, turning the foot maybe 45 degree. You can mindfully, with awareness, turning the hips forward, 
and then bending into the front leg to find your warrior one. So here, tucking the belly button in, and as you inhale, reaching both arms up, and exhale to stay. All right, so nice and steady warrior one, pressing on both feet, and let's interlock the fingers on the back, rolling the shoulder blade inward, inhale, lift up the chest, and exhale, humble warrior, let's travel all the way forward, dropping the chest inside of the leg and pulling the two fists up towards the ceiling. Keep on breathing, good, as low as you can. Final deep breath. And inhale, lift up the chest back to warrior one, ready for warrior two. If you want an easier version, you can already start maybe the two hands by the side. And then whenever you're ready, inhale, shifting the weight forward, Top, lifting the back leg and mindfully and very slowly transition into your warrior three. You can play around with your hand variation. Good, so nice and steady warrior three. Maybe extend it in front of you. And exhale back into warrior one, <laughs> reaching both arms up. Let's straighten the front leg here. Top, so we have the two legs straight. This time let's again or interlock the fingers on the back, inhale, lift up the chest, and as you exhale, pyramid pose, so by straightening the arm, we make sure not to round the spine here. Inhale, reach further, and exhale, continue to dive down. So this one is quite active here. Just feeling a nice deep stretch in front of the back leg. Good, everyone, you can release the hands maybe on the leg, maybe all the way down to the mat. So this is option one. Option two, left hand to the right side of the foot. And as you inhale, open up the right arm up for revolve Trikonasana. Keep on breathing, finding the balance. Whoop, not at me. Good. And exhale, slowly release two hands on the mat. You can bend the front leg and step back into a downward facing dog. And this time, everyone dropping the knees, child pose. You can completely relax the forehead on the mat. Take another deep breath. And as you inhale, let's lift up the chest. So bringing here, actually sitting here on the back of the heels. And let's come in here into the knees. Make sure to have the two knees actually hip with distance. So not really close, but keeping quite a little space in between. We're gonna go some camel variation here. So I advise you to tuck your toes to actually lift the heels up. So the key is to protect the lower back and imagine that you have a wall in front of you. You can actually practice with a wall to have always the contact of the knees, thigh and hips on the wall because as we're gonna lean backward, uh, make sure not to lean backward here, to always keep the hips forward. So it's kind of the same uh, motion in a way as we do on the bridge or maybe on the wheel. So we always have the engagement by pressing the hips forward. All right, so let's tuck the toes. We're gonna just go side by side. Let's bring the two hands to the lower back. Inhale to roll the shoulder back, lift up the chest. So not leaning backward, but thinking about pressing the heart up towards the ceiling and then inhale come back let's go again inhale roll exhale to stay and inhale come back very nice now let's try here to come from the side so slightly leaning on the side maybe touching here the the back heel and as you inhale mindfully pressing the hips forward open up the left arm up overhead and exhale, come back to the center. Let's travel to the left. Left hand on the heel, inhale, pressing the hips forward. Open at the right arm up overhead. And exhale, back to the center. So let's play around here. So from the side, inhale, pressing the hips, open up the arm and just roll. Just pressing mindfully. So can you feel here this motion of the hips coming forward? Last one to the left. Maybe you want to try a full one by rolling the arm, rolling the shoulder back and maybe grabbing both heels and keep on pressing the hips. 
and then to release let's roll and find a child pose you can sit on the back and extend the two arms up and overhead just decompress any tension to the lower back And as you inhale, let's slowly come on up. Let's find a seat here by extending the two legs in front of you. So after every back bend, let's go for forward bends. So Dandasana, make sure to find the two sitting bones and then engaging the leg by squeezing, squeezing, squeezing the legs, flexing the feet. And as you inhale, reaching both arms up. And exhale, start folding forward, Paschimottanasana, seated forward bend. So doesn't matter if you cannot to touch the toes. The key is to bring here the stomach closer to your thigh and then the chest, eventually the head one day. Doesn't matter right now. You can always keep your slight bend on the knees just for you to find the extension of the lower back. So imagine like someone's pulling you from the lower back. <sighs> Maybe this is enough for you, that's great, stay here. Keep on reaching the chest as you inhale and as you exhale, complete surrender into the pose. Pashimottanasana, seated forward bend, giving you a nice deep stretch all the way to your leg from the back. Keep on breathing again. Just surrounding a little bit more on each exhalation. And as you inhale, slowly come on up. You can walk yourself back up. Counter pose again, a plank, bringing one hand distance to your back, turning the fingertips towards your body, rolling the shoulder back. Inhale, lift up the hips, pointing the toes and dropping the head down. And exhale, slowly release. You can shake up, shake up the legs. And make sure that you have enough space here on the back, which is gonna turn for you, to slowly roll all the way down and then hugging your knees into your chest, Apanasana. You can roll side to side. Just make a little ball, maybe by lifting the shoulders off the ground. Keep on breathing, rolling side to side. Just start to cool down your breath. Good. And then just a reclining pigeon pose, bringing the right foot on the mat, all right? And then the left ankle into the right knee. So make sure first to kind of push the left knee out a little bit more. At all times, the lower back and the shoulder must stay completely relaxed on the mat. And as you inhale, you can slightly lift the right leg up, interrupt the fingers around the right thigh, and slowly pushing the leg closer to your chest. Can you find here a nice deep stretch to the glutes? This is what we are aiming for. So you can judge by you whatever tension you want to put. Maybe you have more flexibility and want to grab onto your shin bone, really up to you. Keep on pressing the left knee out and just breathing deeply, feels amazing. And as you exhale, slowly release. Let's switch side, left foot on the mat and right ankle to the left knee. Inhale, lift up the leg up and interlock the finger behind the left thigh, just gently pulling the leg closer to your chest. Keep on to actively pulling here the right knee out. Maybe that's gonna give you a deeper stretch to the back of the quads and to your glutes. And as you exhale, slowly release. You can shake up the legs, just let go any tension. Coming again into a apanasana, like a little ball, hugging the knees in towards your chest. And then eventually, releasing the two hands here by the sides. And again, if you don't have inner space, maybe cactus arm. Inhale again. And exhale, dropping both knees here to the right side, looking above the left shoulder, just enjoying a lying down spinal twist. Mm. Keep on breathing again. Just release all the tension to the lower back. Just allow the gravity to do the work here. Another deep breath. 
And as you inhale, coming back to the center, exhale as you drop both knees to the left side and looking above the right shoulder. And keep on breathing again. And as you inhale, coming back to the center, hugging both knees into the chest, lifting the shoulder off the ground. It's not over yet. So keeping the shoulders off, and you're gonna extend the right leg in front of you, keeping the left knee hugging into your chest, wind relief pose. Ready to walk a little bit with your core? Ready? Inhale, let's switch, and exhale, stay. Inhale, switch, exhale, stay. Inhale, switch, exhale, stay. Maybe this is too easy and you wanna keep the two hands by the side. Inhale, switch, exhale, stay. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale again, exhale. Last two, inhale, switch. Inhale, switch again. And then finally, low Navasana, extended both legs in front of you, holding here for three, for two, one, and exhale, finally release into a very little Shavasana. You can rest the two hands here by the side of the body. Let's close your eyes here for a moment and just let go any tension. Start to feel here the fire into the core and just allow the breath to cool it down. You can close your eyes, have a mental body scan. Just notice here your pace. And then very gently, let's start to slowly wiggle the toes, wiggle the fingertips. You can extend the two arms up and overhead, giving your body a final deep stretch. And as you exhale, let's start to roll to one side using your arms as a pillow. And then very slowly pressing yourself all the way back up into a comfortable cross-legged pose. You can bring the two hands here to the heart space. Just keep the eyes closed. Take a moment to notice your breath, your pace. And come back here to the intention and whatever you're grateful for today. It's just an intention that we also want to practice outside of the mat. Just know that whatever happens, everything's gonna be all right. Take another deep breath in through the nose. And as you exhale, slowly bow down your head. Namaste. And well done for tonight's practice, day 19 of the yoga challenge. Tomorrow is the last day, everyone. Well done for everyone that took uh, every class is well done and I'm so grateful for you to tune in and very grateful for your good vibes and your energy. Thank you again and I wish you a pleasant night. Bisous and see you tomorrow.